Hey everyone, so I'm back with another unboxing video and this time we're going to be opening my latest merch haul, I guess you could say, from the app Tereba. So I am going to be honest with you guys, I'm not very good at the crane game. I do my best, but I have invested a lot more money than I meant to um, or ever intended to into the app and I don't always win something. But I do have enough here to do a little video. There are four items, if I remember correctly. Two of them I mentioned in my Sumiko Ogurashi haul video, which should have gone up prior to this one. Um, and then two others are ones that I actually won fairly easily that I may be selling. I'm not quite sure yet. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into opening these boxes and let me show you what I got. So we are going to do the smaller box first, just because there's one item in here. This item actually ties into my Sumiko Gurashi haul. Um, like I said, hopefully I've already posted that video, so this will all make sense. But I won this one off of the crane, and winning this is actually what prompted me to order a bunch of those items, because it's what introduced me to the specific set of Sumiko Gurashi items. So let's open this if we can. Oh my god, I did not cut this very well, but I didn't want to cut too deep. Okay, so <laughs> this big box for this one little, little guy. So as I said, that big old box for just this little guy. So this is the Marine Time Whale Shark Tokage of Sumiko Gurashi. It is, as I said, what prompted that large um, haul I did of all the Marine Time kind of themed items. The Crane Game did have the medium version of this plush and I spent a lot of money and tried really hard to get the medium version and could not do it so I spent more money and got this little keychain version but he's pretty decently sized very very cute I love the little details the eyes here are embroidered along with the face and then all the spots here seem to be a vinyl iron-on but yeah, really nice, really cute little quality Tokage. And he will fit in perfectly with all the other marine time animals that I got. So opening the flap right away, Cinema Roll's face is just right up in our face. So we will put him aside. Here is our little pom-pom pudding, and we'll look at them more closely. And then here is what I was really excited about. This is my big pillow. Ugh. So starting with the smaller plush, um, I was able to win both of these from the same crane game. I realized after playing once that the right arm of the claw was fairly strong and I was able to just grab these plush and kind of throw them over the edge and they are large squishy plush is what they're called and I can definitely see why he is very very squishy and very very soft and really really cute so yeah it's pom pom pudding um, and Obviously, if you guys are watching this video, hopefully you know who that is. And of course, on the back he has his trademark booty. Well, it's his butt, but little butthole, but you guys know what I mean. So really, really soft, and I like the idea of the squishier plush. The um, Marine Time Whale Shark Tokage I got, the larger one, is also a squish plush. Uh, my friend called them marshmallow plush, and that's exactly what it feels like. It feels just like a large fluffy marshmallow. I'm gonna stop squeezing him and move on to the next one. So the next cutie we're gonna look at is my Cinema Roll plush and it is that same marshmallow squish plush like I said before. Same crane game as the pom pom pudding. The faces on these are embroidered really really nicely. There's no missed stitches, no gaps, no loose threads, nothing like that. And he's got floppy ears! Look at his ears! And then of course the back has the cinnamon uh, swirl tail for Cinema Roll. So yeah, these are really, really nice quality. Um, realistically, I think they each cost me less than $10. Um, it just took a couple of turns each to pull it off. And again, I'll put the footage up so you guys can see how I won these. The left side, you will see, did have Hello Kitty and Guretama, but I could not win those because the left side of the claw was not strong. Only the right side was really strong. So there are some tricks to these machines that unfortunately you just will not figure out until you try it a couple of times. Uh, and that's how they get you. Honestly, that's how they get you. But yeah, I mean, if you're dedicated enough, you can find the tricks of some of them and win really cute stuff like this. On to our last item. I'm very excited about this one. This pillow was a little bit trickier to win just because it was rolled up like this. So it was like a pillow burrito and essentially the way it was laid out um, and you'll be seeing on the footage it was laid out 
on a platform that had stoppers on the end so you couldn't just roll it you had to kind of lift it get it over that edge a bit and then it would drop in and I found that the trick for this one was to grab it by the back end the end closest to you um, and it could just be because that's how the claw was set to work like that's I had to grab some scissors that was the claw strength or whatever um, and I tried to look online uh, I always try to look and see if there's a way to just buy whatever the plush or the item is so I don't like waste money um, on Tereba, Tereba, Tereba. But I did not see these for sale like anywhere at all. Um, so I gave it a few tries and it did take a little, oh my gosh, he's inflating. Inflate my son, get poofy. But yes, I really, really wanted this one because it has both of my favorites on it. And there is another version that has Penguin and Neko. But this one has my two favorites, so one side, <laughs> I'm gonna have to zoom the camera out, hold on. Hopefully that helped. It does look a little bright, like maybe it's a little washed out, but I will try to fix the saturation in post-editing. But anyway, one side is Tokage, my favorite uh, dinosaur boy, and then the other side is Polar Bear. So really, really cute, but then the edging has everybody. So the edging features all of them, Tonkatsu, uh, penguin, the tapioca balls are there. The only ones I don't see are the slightly minor characters. Snail isn't here, I don't think. Um, the real Tokage is not here. So it does feature pretty much all of the main characters though. So yeah, this is a really nice size pillow. You can see my hands and my arms on it. Really big, really fluffy now that it's inflated. And honestly, I was looking forward to this the most because it is so cute and like I said I had tried to find these to purchase online and I couldn't find it anywhere so I'm wondering if it's just maybe I don't want to say Tureba exclusive but maybe this is just not everywhere like some of these other things are but yeah I'm very very happy that I won this one this is probably my favorite thing out of the haul okay guys so there we have it this is my latest Tureba haul it is not the biggest haul in the world but it was a big dent on my wallet definitely a bigger dent than I should have allowed it to be but in the end we came out with two really cute marshmallow plush of cinnamon roll and pom pom puree we got a whale shark adorable little keychain plush of my favorite Tokage and then a super nice plushy pillow of Tokage slash polar bear so let me know down in the comments what your favorite item from this haul is and let me know if this is something you guys would want to see more of down the line. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.